At a certain clothing store, the customer who buys two shirts pays the regular price for the first shirt and a discounted price for the second shirt. The store makes the same profit for the sale of two shirts that it makes for the sale of one shirt at the regular price. That means one shirt at regular price plus one shirt at discounted price results in the same profit as one regular shirt. So if the profit in the two scenarios are same that then it only means that the discounted shirt is not leading to any profit because the profit here for one regular shirt should be same both sides. That means the profit on discounted shirt is equal to zero which also means that the cost of a shirt to the store is equal to the discounted price of the shirt. Now, this is the primary analysis that we must do in order to understand whether statements have some credentials to help us answer the question or not. Now, the first statement says that the regular price of the each shirt is equal to $16. Now, but that's not what we need to answer the question. What we need is either the cost price of the shirt because that will be equal to the discounted price or we need to know that how much discount on a shirt has been given. But the first statement does not supply us the required information. Therefore, the first statement is not sufficient. Now let's look at the second statement, which says that the cost to the clothing store of each of the two shirts is equal to $12. So cost per shirt is equal to $12. And this is exactly we wanted because the cost per shirt is equal to the discounted price per shirt as well. And now we have the unique answer to the question. Therefore, the second statement alone is sufficient to answer the question and answer to the question becomes option B, which states that the second statement alone is sufficient, but the first alone is not sufficient. Thank you so much for watching this video.